What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at our favorite undisclosed location because guess what? There's some changes with Honda. I got a 2021 Honda Accord. This particular one is a hybrid Turing trim. But before we get into this luxury style fuel sipping midsize sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. The Honda Accord. It's been around since 1976, has won so many awards over the years that really they need a whole building just for all the trophies. Now, obviously, this being an Accord, the main rival is going to be that Toyota Camry. But remember, there's also some other key players from Hyundai with the Sonata and, of course, also Kia with the K5. And we can't forget Mazda with the Mazda 6. Now, when you look at Kia, when you look at Mazda, they don't have a hybrid offering in their midsize sedan. So it's going to be interesting to see how those brands bring it to the hybrid field of the midsize segment and try to compete with this vehicle. So we're going to try to keep this to the, the three that actually have a midsize hybrid sedan, Hyundai with the Sonata, Toyota with the Camry, and of course, Honda with the Accord. So let's go ahead. Let's dive into this pleasant white hybrid. See what's different for 2021 and see is this the midsize hybrid sedan that you should be putting your hard-earned money down or going with the competition? Let's find out. Right off the bat, you're going to notice some changes for 2021 with this Accord Hybrid. You're going to get an updated headlight housing, full LED across all the trims. So all trims are getting LED headlights, including, of course, the hybrid and, of course, our Turing trim. You have LED daytime running lamps, some gloss black, and a nice chrome brow, just enough to really make it pop. You have that pearlescent white paint job that is an option on this Honda Accord. You work your way down. This is all new for 2021. Functional side air curtain, a little bit of gloss black, and, of course, those LED fog lamps. Love the way they extended the front fascia down on an angle. Really gives it a lot of character, and that's the thing that... If you compare this to previous generations, it kind of got a little flat, like a flat soda that's been sitting on the counter for about a month. They really brought some nice changes. Of course, we're waiting for the redesign. Should you wait for the redesign? And when is that going to happen? That's yet to be announced. But as we come across the center grill area, all of this has basically been cleaned up. So this is just a refresh, but they really did a great job just cleaning up the style. Chrome trim, like I said, this being a Turing trim, kind of makes sense, that nice chrome brow. You got the blue around the Honda badge. That lets you know that this is a hybrid model. And then you're going to have your vertical uh, lines, gloss black, a little bit of chrome, and a little bit more gloss black. They relocated the Honda sensing technology to kind of give it that cleaner look. But I still think it looks fresh, even though this generation has been around for a few years. We're on the 10th generation of the Accord, still looking fresh. And when you compare it to, say, the Sonata, Definitely isn't so much in your face looking like a big catfish or a whale shark. And I still think the styling is even cleaner than the Toyota Camry. Now, when you get up onto the hood, you got a little slight bulge, mini bulge on the hood. Kind of comes out of nowhere and then disappears. Everything else is very clean lines. When we come around the bend, we got something new for 2021. First time on a hybrid Accord. These are 19-inch wheels. So you're going to get machine aluminum, the gloss black. I know it looks like a wheel from the ninth generation, but it looks really great on our particular hybrid that we have. And like I said, 19 inch wheel, it's going to be 235 on the width, 40 series sidewall. Other than that, everything else is looking good. And when you go touring, remember, you're going to get those adaptive dampers. You put this into sport mode, the, the tuning of the shock absorbers, all four corners are going to be revamped to give you a little bit more sportier driving experience. You got a clean hybrid badge, nothing too gaudy. Coming down the side, you're going to get color matched on the mirror caps. Of course, we're going to have our LED uh, turn signals built into those mirrors. Just some bright, shiny metal work only on the top. You got a standard size sunroof. Would have been nice to have a panoramic sunroof on the Turing trim. Some chrome on the door handles, chrome finish, chrome along the bottom. And I kind of like that line, the way it curves up, really shows some movement. I think one of my favorite parts of the body lines are in the bottom portion here as it rises up and then comes towards the rear. The one thing I don't like is I don't, I don't like the way they, I think this is a zonk, the way they brought the chrome to the rear bumper. They should have just stopped it right there. That would have been enough. But the way they flare out that trim around the quarter window 
and then coming to the back super clean. Now remember, there was once upon a time where a hybrid had to look like some, we some weird scientific space experiment. No longer does it need to look like that. It looks like an Accord, but you're gonna get some maximum fuel saving capabilities. Accord badge, you got the 10 generation stapler taillights. Would have been nice if they would have refreshed that a little bit. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And then you're gonna get a hybrid and turing badge. Drop your way down, no exhaust, super clean, except just a little bit of sprinkling of chrome to kind of tie it all in together. Even the way they did the rear trunk area, I like the way it's got that nice concave rise to it, give it that aerodynamic efficiency, but why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our hybrid Accord. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod. I am gonna zonk that at least on the Turing trim, but underneath that is that hybrid connectivity and technology. What are we exactly looking at on this Honda Accord Hybrid. You're looking at a unique setup. It's a two liter inline four that is actually used to generate electricity and drive the wheels. No other hybrid, whether you're looking at the Sonata or the Camry, does that. You're also looking at a combined with the electric motor, 212 horsepower, 231 pound-feet of torque. This does use a direct drive transmission lithium ion battery zero to 60 in 7.1 seconds quarter mile in 15.7 at 88 miles an hour top speed is governed to 116 miles per hour now on the turning trim this is where you're going to come out as the winner mpgs 44 in the city 41 on the highway and they did do some recalibrating to the ecu when it comes to throttle response and the whole um, electric internal combustion engine connection and when that turns on and off. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what big things are in store for 2021. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 Accord Hybrid Touring Trim. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking for a midsize. I have a family. I don't want to go the SUV route, but I also want to be mindful about fuel usage. And these hybrids are doing a really great job doing that. How much is this Accord Touring Trim Hybrid Here's my answer to you. MSRP is $37,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Nice, clean door panel design. Even though it's been a few years, it's still looking great. So you're gonna get soft touch material. The wood trim on the Turing, I actually think looks very tasteful. And then you're gonna get this off-white finish. Now, it's not my favorite, and it is gonna show dirt a little bit more, but it does go well with the pearlescent white and I do love the armrest, nice soft touch material. The stitch work is great. And then door pocket, guess what? You could go to Chipotle, you could get your burrito and get guac. Even though guac costs extra, it'll all fit in that door pocket and a nice can of Coca-Cola to wash it all down. Going from the door panel to the dash, same story. You've seen this before, still looking great. Soft touch material, the silver trim. There's more of that wood style finish. And then infotainment, you go Turing trim, you're gonna get the eight inch infotainment system. The great news is for 2021, you have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Of course, we have navigation, easy to use. I love how intuitive this system is. You can see your power flow going on, Sirius XM satellite radio. You can move around all the icons, have it perfect exactly to you. And you know what? I don't mind the location of how this is blended into the dashboard area and it's got a no like a non-glare finish to it which is really tasteful let me throw it into reverse there's our backup camera with trajectory somebody's driving by in a convertible bmw there they go you could also change the views which is wonderful as well so i like that flexibility when it comes to the camera usage it would be nice to have it just be a little bit more clear but we'll just go from there Silver finish on the AC vents. You got your power on button since this is a hybrid. And when you go Turing, guess what? Ventilated seats, heated seats. Of course, you're gonna get a heated steering wheel as well. I love all the switch gear. It sounds like a Wells Fargo safe from 1923. Eh, actually make that 1927. Feels really good. Dual climate control. Look at this, a door. I love it when they put doors because what's even better is you got wireless charging, two USBs, and a 12 volt. So lots of connectivity there. Close that guy. I love the flat gray finish. No fingerprints, mom. Look at that, no fingerprints. This is gonna control that direct drive transmission. You got two cup holders, sport mode and econ. Yes, if you failed economics in class in high school, just hit this button and your transcripts will be all changed. You could go full EV. 
and you also have your tasteful Honda key fob. Nice size, not gonna poke you in the groin. You got remote start, which is great. Semi-soft on the armrest. I do like the way on the center console armrest, it's really wide. Open that up, you got a tray for pistachios, M&Ms, maybe some pretzels. Mmm, some pretzels right about now. A 12 volt, and what's nice is you could slide this and move it around. And you could put probably about, I would say $10 million, not in cash, and 100 gram bars underneath there. Seats, you get full leather when you go touring. Love the material, nice, durable, good quality. Electric assist for the passenger and the driver. And you have a standard size sunroof. Let me know what you think about it not being a panoramic. Now think about this. If you go Sonata, you get a cool solar power sunroof, uh, roof, but no actual sunroof. But why don't you come over here behind the business end. I want to show you behind this leather wrap steering wheel and the Accord Touring. All right, guys, behind the business end, you do have two memory seat settings, which is great. Seat controls, easy to get to. That lower lumbar inflates nicely. Love the way that works. Steering wheel. This is one thing that Honda does so well are their steering wheels. The thickness, 10 and two notches, nice quality leather with the stitch work looking great. I like the way it's all flat black on the buttons. You do have that accessibility for the head up display. Paddles, even though it's a direct drive transmission, this is not for shifting gears. It's actually for increasing or decreasing regenerative braking. So you got full regen braking. Steering wheel is tilting and telescoping. And then the dash, I like the layout. It's super clean. You got an analog, speedometer the rest of it is all going to be through that digital display on the left real nice to work through and just as intuitive as the whole setup for your infotainment you can pull up your eco drive real easy to use watch when i go into sport mode watch this boom you see the suspension the dampers all changing i like the way everything changes to red we're going to stay sport mode of course on radies rides plenty of headroom even with a sunroof but let's get to that back seat because guess what there's a lithium-ion battery back there and I wanna see how much room you have for your passengers in the Accord Hybrid. All right, guys, we're in the back seat, and I'm telling you right now, the standard Accord has a ton of room, this Accord Hybrid, so much space back here, plenty of headroom, plenty of leg room, whole seats covered in leather, and guess what? You got massive pockets, easily put a cookie cake back here. Probably two cookie cakes. Just watch out on the frosting, you don't wanna dirty up these seats. Two rear AC vents looking good, and look what we got, one, two different USBs. I like the easy location and it's good to have that connectivity. I got my own pocket over here. I'm going to put some personal pan pizzas in here because I'm freaking starving. Seats feel good and then to top it off, boom, you do get an armrest. Look at this. It's like a trampoline for your arm. Nice soft material, the leather, two cup holders. Let's get to the trunk and see what we could haul in our Accord Hybrid turn. All right, guys, time to get in the trunk. What's wonderful is there's no compromise. If you want a hybrid Accord, you're still getting a ton of space. Love the large opening. You're looking at 16.7 cubic feet of space. What's wonderful is you'll even be able to still have the pass-through folding down the rear seats. You got the little hooks to hang your grocery bags so you don't have cans of soup rolling all over the place. Now, the one downside is there's no spare. So that's something to think about when you're going the hybrid route with the Accord. No spare, but you know what? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's see how this Accord hybrid drives going down the roads. All right, guys, we're in this updated, refreshed 2021 Honda Accord hybrid. We have the top trim, which is that turning trim. And right away, I am pleasantly surprised to report that guess what? Those 19 inch wheels with the lower profile tire actually you're not really compromising the ride quality. And I think a lot of the things that adds up to that picture, or the big picture, I, su I should say, is the adaptive dampers, all four corners that you get also when you go touring trim. Now, we are in sport mode. What's cool is, is like I showed you earlier, when you go into sport mode, you can see how the dampers, they change with the illuminated image in that center display on the dash. And here we are in sport mode, driving around, very smooth, very comfortable. I always love the connected feeling you get to the steering wheel in really any Honda item, and especially in this Accord Touring Hybrid. Now, the head-up display, super clear. I like the way it's just projected onto the glass. There's no little screen that pops up or anything like that, so that's good news. And you can, 
adjust and you will feel the difference with the regen braking. There's three different levels of regen braking and you're gonna use those paddles on the steering wheel to make that adjustment and you will feel the difference when you let off throttle, it will actually really start to slow the vehicle down and the great news is, is that you're obviously regenerating the charging to that uh, lithium ion battery pack that we have. But very, very quiet in the turning trim. I like the leather interior, ventilated seats. You're not gonna hear a complaint out of me. I personally would go with the darker interior, but you know, with this white and the cream interior, it really does work well and it's nice, bright and airy in here. Um, the updated tuning to the Honda sensing technology, you're really gonna enjoy that difference as well. And it really truly is a unique driving experience in this Honda Accord Hybrid because like I had mentioned earlier, the internal combustion engine, which as soon as you go into sport comes on, that's gonna drive the wheels and also generate, be part of a, a generating quality for the whole hybrid setup, which is much different than what you're gonna find in any other hybrid acts more like a like an EV, especially when you are in non-sport mode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take us out of sport mode and basically that instant torque that you're getting from the electric motor really gives it that overall EV feel to this. And we're gonna go on throttle soon. Don't you worry, once we get through some of this traffic here, I wanna definitely take you on throttle. All right guys, pulling away from this light here visibility is excellent just like any accord especially in this 10th generation and everything that you love about driving can be brought into this hybrid and that's what i really think that especially honda today you got the great styling that you like of the accord but you're also going to get some maximum mpgs and if you want to go the touring route like we have here you're going to be able to get all the amenities that you want as well which is a nice touch but let me go ahead and slow down here and then we're gonna go on throttle. Non-sport mode, here we go, on throttle. So that direct drive system, the zonk with all that is just how it just keeps the revs pegged. That, that whole experience is not very, very enjoyable, but the handling here really makes up for it and that's what like i was talking about that great connected feeling that you have behind the wheel it transfers into this accord hybrid and the great news as well is with the lower center of gravity with that battery pack uh, in the back of the vehicle nice and low it really even increases handling even more over a standard accord which is a big plus all right, guys, I'm gonna put it back into sport mode. You know that's how we do it on Radies Ride. You're quickly gonna notice the difference in acceleration. Brakes feel good. Here we go. On throttle. Just that RPM, the way it's pegged, is just not pleasing to the ears whatsoever. But many of us are not gonna stay pegged on throttle for as long as I just was. You're gonna get on the highway and then back off. But here we go, into this right-hand bend. Nice and controllable, look at that. That's what I really love about these Accords, is just the handling. Visibility though, to the infotainment system is great. Everything is within reach and they definitely, Honda knows how to lay out an interior. Yes, there are larger infotainment system screens, but you know what? I think you're gonna be very happy with what the Turing has, especially because of that feature that still many brands are missing, even with their redesigns and refreshes, is the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. They're just not doing it. And that to me is just nuts because you ask people, that's what they want. Let me show off that regen braking as we come up to this light here. So I'm on throttle. Now I'm on the brakes, now I'm gonna hit the paddle. If you notice, the arrows light up and I can increase it to allow the vehicle to slow down with the assistance there of the regen braking. But let's take it out on the highway and see how this Accord Hybrid, the Turing trim, drives down the road. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually leave it in sport mode the whole time and really feel 
how it soaks up the bumps on the highway, especially when we go over expansion joints or any um, you know ripped up pavement or whatnot. But getting onto the highway, super smooth. And I really do like the fact that once you're at highway speed, you back off throttle and it's really nice in here. You're just hearing the air coming from the ventilated seats. Yeah, there's a little bit more road noise with the 19 inch wheels, but I think the way that they look is worth the payoff. But very, very smooth. Seats are comfortable and supportive. They don't feel like you're just sitting on a, like a waterbed. I don't know why anybody ever came up with a waterbed, but these seats, you don't, you don't feel like that. You feel comfy, but you also feel supported, which is nice. And then, like I said, with that regen braking, you'll get off throttle, it slows the vehicle down. You can see in the um, power gauge there how it goes into charging. But just overall, really, really nice and smooth. Just would have been even nicer to have a traditional automatic transmission to keep those revs down at wide open throttle. All right, guys, it's been another hyper miling kind of day with this 2021 Accord Hybrid. I definitely gotta thank Chris, Lynn, and everybody over at Honda and Acura for allowing Radies Rides access to this Presley vehicle. It really shows the journey that we've been on as a car society when it comes to hybrid vehicles. Looks like an Accord, drives like an Accord, but you're getting that great fuel savings and that fuel sipping strategies. Comparing this to the competition, you're gonna to have to do your homework on which one you wanna go with, whether it's the Accord, the Camry, or the Sonata hybrids. But if you wanna keep seeing fuel sipping vehicles on Radies Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the first link, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to the queen of the camera, best videographer in all of YouTube. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.